John Harrison 32 of 46 Knoll Street had been pinned under a fallen display cabinet in the front window of the A.C. Foster Leather Goods Store at 321 Bank Street. He and four other firemen led by Plateau Chief Tony McCarthy had battled their way into the store which was burning out of control. The cabinet fell pinning Harrison by his legs as the others attempt to free him the second floor and ceiling crashed in burying them. Flames and smoke hid them from view as dozens of other firemen left their post and clawed with bare hands through the wreckage. Ambulances and fire emergency vehicles stood by as the men, one by one, were dragged from the intense heat, flame and smoke. The last to be recovered, who had been injured earlier, was Edward Hartley. Lieutenant Herbert Love, also caught in the downfall, struggled from the arms of an ambulance attendant in a desperate attempt to help his trapped companies. He stood in a daze, blood pouring from his head, and his face blistered and blackened until Chief Phil Larkin coaxed him into the ambulance. Lieutenant Love, Hartley, Ian Downs, and Platoon Chief McCarthy were taken to the Civic Hospital where they were treated for burns, smoke inhalation, and cuts. They were later released. Most firemen returned to fighting the blaze that at one time threatened the entire block at, on the east side of Bank Street between McLaren and Gilmore Streets. Mr. Harrison was pronounced dead at the scene by coroner Dr. Major. His body, covered with canvas, was carried through lines of stun firemen with their helmets removed and heads bowed.